So how does SaniPath fit in with other tools? SaniPath is unique as it's one of the few tools that focuses on public health and it involves primary data collection. In a 2016 article by WaterAid, the NGO WaterAid, they describe various urban sanitation tools and they classified them into three main categories. Prioritization, sorry, diagnostic tools, prioritization tools, and planning and technology um, choice tools. And SaniPath can be described as both an assessment tool and a prioritization tool. Um, could you click please? Thank you. So we like to describe SaniPath as picking up where the shit flows diagram leaves off. So we know that the shit flows diagram shows that fe there's fecal contamination or fecal sludge going into the residential environment and drainage systems and receiving waters. But how do people become exposed to the fecal contamination or the fecal sludge in the residential environment, in the drainage systems? So that's what SaniPath focuses on. Next slide, please. So the SaniPath tool uses a simplified and standardized method, but I want to emphasize that this is a method that's customizable to the context of your city. So it starts with conducting a preliminary assessment with key informant interviews and transect walks to determine what are the pathways in a particular neighborhood. Is there surface water? Are there open drains? Um, are there public latrines? And then based on that initial assessment, it moves into the data collection phase where we collect data on both behavior, how people interact with their environment and data on the environment and where the fecal contamination is. And then this data is fed into a database that performs the analyses and produces a final report. 